Joseph Kony, the leader of the Lord's Resistance Army, LRA, is a fugitive wanted for war crimes and crime. I want peace, that is why I was in the boat. Against humanity. The LRA, under Kony's command, has been responsible for the abduction of children to become child soldiers, numerous massacres, and widespread atrocities in Uganda and neighboring countries. The hunt for Joseph Kony by the Wagner Group, the Wagner Group, a private military company known for its undercover operations and connections to the Russian government, is rumored to have been contracted to locate and capture Kony. The motivations behind this mission are complex, potentially involving political maneuvering, financial incentives, and strategic interests in Africa. Joseph Kony was born around 1961 in Odek, a small village in the northern part of Uganda, within the Gola district. He belongs to the Akoli ethnic group, which has played a significant role in his later life and the composition of his rebel army. Kony's childhood was spent in a region characterized by traditional Akoli culture and values. He was raised in a Christian household, with his family being devout Catholics. Despite this, Kony was reportedly a troublesome child, known for being rebellious and disruptive. Joseph Kony was one of six children born to his parents, Louise Abel and Nora Oding. He had five siblings, comprising both brothers and sisters. Growing up in a large family in the Akoli region of northern Uganda, Kony's early environment and familial relationships likely played a role in shaping his character and future actions. Kony attended school briefly but dropped out before completing his education. His formal education was limited, and he did not display significant academic interest or success. Instead, Kony was drawn to traditional Akoli spiritual beliefs and practices. In 1987, following the defeat of Alice Laquina's HSM, Kony founded the Lord's Resistance Army LRA. The LRA's initial aim was to overthrow the Ugandan government and establish a regime based on Kony's interpretation of the Ten Commandments. Over time, the LRA's methods became increasingly brutal, characterized by mass abductions, child soldier recruitment, and widespread atrocities. Kony's early operations involved guerrilla warfare, targeting both military and civilian populations. His tactics were marked by extreme violence, including mutilations, killings, and psychological warfare. These actions were intended to instill fear and ensure compliance among both his followers and the local population. Joseph Kony, despite being an Akoli himself, is notorious for perpetrating severe violence against the Akoli people, among others. This apparent paradox can be understood within the complex dynamics of his leadership of the Lord's Resistance Army LRA, and the broader conflict in northern Uganda. The Ugandan government's response to Joseph Kony in the Lord's Resistance Army LRA, has evolved over the years, involving a mix of military, political, and social strategies aimed at neutralizing the threat posed by the LRA in addressing the humanitarian crisis it caused, National Resistance Army NRA when the LRA first emerged in the late 1980s. The Ugandan government's National Resistance Army NRA, led by President Yoweri Museveni, launched military operations against the rebel group. These operations were often criticized for their heavy-handedness and lack of effectiveness, Operation North. In 1991, the government launched Operation North, a major military campaign aimed at eradicating the LRA. The operation involved extensive combat in the Akoli region but failed to capture Kony or decisively defeat the LRA. The Ugandan government's strategy of moving civilians into what were effectively concentration camps, known as protected villages or internally displaced persons, IDP, camps, was a controversial aspect of their response to Joseph Kony and the Lord's Resistance Army, LRA, insurgency. This strategy was intended to protect civilians from LRA attacks and to cut off the rebels' access to resources and recruits. However, the implementation and consequences of this policy were deeply problematic. The Lord's Resistance Army LRA, under the leadership of Joseph Kony, has been one of the most notorious rebel groups in Africa. The LRA is infamous for its brutal tactics, including widespread abductions, massacres, and terror tactics that have devastated communities across northern Uganda, 
South Sudan, the Central African Republic, CR, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. Operation Lightning Thunder was a significant military campaign launched in December 2008 by the Ugandan government in collaboration with the Armed Forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, South Sudan, and with support from the United States. The operation aimed to eliminate the Lord's Resistance Army, LRA, and capture its leader, Joseph Kony. Neutralize the LRA the primary goal was to destroy LRA bases in the Garamba National Park in the DRC and to capture or kill Joseph Kony and his senior commanders. Protect civilians, another critical objective was to protect civilians from further LRA attacks and abductions the United States provided logistical support, intelligence, and training to the UPDF. This included the use of satellite imagery, communications equipment, and aerial surveillance. Operation Lightning Thunder was a major military initiative aimed at ending the terror inflicted by the LRA in capturing its elusive leader, Joseph Kony. While the operation achieved some tactical successes, including the destruction of LRA camps and the death or capture of some fighters, it ultimately failed to capture Kony and led to severe humanitarian consequences. The LRA's brutal retaliatory attacks underscored the group's capacity for violence and the ongoing challenges in securing peace. The primary stated goal of the LRA, particularly in its early years, was to overthrow the government of Uganda led by President Yoweri Museveni. Kony viewed Museveni's regime as oppressive and illegitimate, particularly towards the Akoli people of northern Uganda the LRA sought to replace Museveni's government with one that would, according to Kony, rule based on a mix of traditional Akoli values and his own interpretation of the Ten Commandments. Kony claimed to be a spiritual medium and sought to establish a theocratic state governed by his interpretation of Christian and traditional Akoli laws. This included strict adherence to the Ten Commandments and other religious edicts he purportedly received from spiritual beings. Kony's vision included a form of spiritual warfare against perceived evil forces, blending Christian symbolism with local beliefs. This religious justification was used to legitimize the LRA's violent tactics. In August 2008, the United States officially designated Joseph Kony, the leader of the Lord's Resistance Army (LRA), as a global terrorist. This designation was part of broader efforts to curb the LRA's activities and bring Kony to justice. Here are the key details surrounding this designation and its implications. The Garamba Offensive also known as Operation Lightning Thunder, was a joint military campaign launched by the Ugandan People's Defense Force UPDF, with support from the United States against the Lord's Resistance Army LRA, LRA bases, the Garamba National Park, located in the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC, served as a major stronghold and operational base for the LRA. The dense forests and remote terrain of Garamba provided the LRA with a safe haven, making it difficult for security. On May 10, 2010, President Barack Obama signed an important piece of legislation known as the Lord's Resistance Army Disarmament and Northern Uganda Recovery Act into law. This act aimed to address the ongoing conflict involving the Lord's Resistance Army LRA, in Central Africa, particularly in Uganda, and to support efforts to bring peace and stability to the region. In November 2010, President Barack Obama addressed the issue of the Lord's Resistance Army LRA, rebels in Uganda during a speech. The LRA, led by Joseph Kony, had been responsible for widespread atrocities and violence in Uganda and neighboring countries for decades. President Obama's statement reflected the United States' commitment to addressing the LRA threat and supporting efforts to bring peace and stability to the region. The African Union AU, has played a significant role in addressing the threat posed by the Lord's Resistance Army LRA, and its leader, Joseph Kony, in Central Africa. Here's an overview of the AU's involvement in confronting the LRA. The AU has facilitated and supported regional efforts to address the LRA threat through cooperation among affected countries, including Uganda, South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, and the Central African Republic, CR. 
The AU has convened high-level meetings and summits among regional leaders to discuss strategies for combating the LRA and promoting peace and security in the affected regions The AU has supported the deployment of regional military forces to pursue and neutralize the LRA. This includes the Regional Task Force RTF, established in 2012, which comprises troops from Uganda, South Sudan, the DRC, and the SAR. The African Union AU, and the United States have both been actively engaged in efforts to address the threat posed by the Lord's Resistance Army LRA, and its leader, Joseph Kony, in Central Africa. Their engagement has involved various strategies and forms of cooperation, including military support, diplomatic efforts, and humanitarian assistance regional cooperation, the AU has facilitated and supported regional cooperation among affected countries, including Uganda, South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, and the Central African Republic, SAR. This cooperation has involved the deployment of joint military forces to pursue and neutralize the LRA, Regional Task Force, RTF. The AU has endorsed and supported the establishment of the Regional Task Force, RTF, which comprises troops from Uganda, South Sudan, the DRC, and the SAR. The RTF operates with the mandate to apprehend or eliminate LRA leaders and protect civilian populations from. On March 24, 2014, the United States announced the deployment of additional military personnel to Uganda to support regional efforts aimed at apprehending Joseph Kony and countering the Lord's Resistance Army LRA. This deployment built upon previous commitments and reflected ongoing efforts to address the LRA threat and protect civilian populations in Central Africa. Dominic Ongwen was indeed a senior commander within the Lord's Resistance Army LRA, serving under the leadership of Joseph Kony Dominic Ongwen was born in northern Uganda in the early 1970s. Like many others in the region, he was abducted by the LRA at a young age, reportedly around the age of 10, while on his way to school. Ongwen rose through the ranks of the LRA to become a senior commander within the group. He was known to have significant influence and authority, leading a group of fighters and participating in various LRA operations. In January 2015, Dominic Ongwen surrendered to U.S. military forces in the Central African Republic. His surrender was seen as a significant development in efforts to dismantle the LRA and bring its leaders to justice. Welcoming Ongwen's surrender as a positive development in the fight against the LRA, emphasizing the UPDF's commitment to ending the threat posed by the LRA and bringing its leaders, including Joseph Kony, to justice, highlighting efforts to provide support and rehabilitation to former LRA fighters who surrender, urging other LRA members to follow Ongwen's example and surrender peacefully. Reiterating the importance of regional cooperation and coordination in addressing the LRA threat. The Lord's Resistance Army, LRA, led by Joseph Kony, carried out numerous guerrilla attacks in Uganda for several decades. These attacks were characterized by their brutality and the targeting of civilian populations. The LRA's guerrilla attacks primarily targeted civilian populations in northern Uganda. Villages and towns were raided, and civilians were subjected to brutal violence, including killings, mutilations, and abductions. In 2005, the ICC issued an arrest warrant for Dominic Ongwen on charges of war crimes and crimes against humanity. The charges against him included murder, enslavement, inhumane acts, and conscription of child soldiers, among others in January 2015, Dominic Ongwen surrendered to U.S. military forces in the Central African Republic. He was subsequently transferred to the custody of the ICC to face trial for the charges against him. The Wagner Group is a Russian private military company that has gained notoriety for its involvement in various conflicts and operations around the world, often with ties to the Russian government the Wagner Group is known to provide military and security services, including combat operations, training, and security assistance, primarily in conflict zones and areas of strategic interest to the Russian government. Its activities have been documented in countries such as Syria, Ukraine, Libya. While the Wagner Group operates as a private entity, there is widespread speculation that it maintains close ties to the Russian government, 
including the Russian military and intelligence services. Some analysts believe that the group operates as a proxy force for advancing Russian interests abroad while providing plausible deniability for the Russian government. The Wagner Group has been implicated in various controversies and allegations of human rights abuses, including extrajudicial killing. As of my last update in January 2022, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, particularly the conflict in eastern Ukraine, primarily involves the Russian military and separatist groups in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. While the Wagner Group, a Russian private military company, has been active in various conflicts around the world, there isn't widely available, verified information suggesting direct involvement of the Wagner Group in the conflict in Ukraine. However, it's essential to note that Russia's involvement in the conflict in eastern Ukraine has been a subject of international concern and has led to significant diplomatic tensions between Russia and Western countries. The conflict began in 2014 when Russia annexed Crimea, leading to unrest and separatist movements in eastern Ukraine. The conflict has since resulted in thousands of deaths, displacement of civilians, and ongoing instability in the region. Regarding Wagner's involvement in Africa, the Wagner Group, a Russian private military company, has been reported to operate in several African countries, including Libya. In Libya, Wagner Group mercenaries have been involved in supporting various factions and militias, including those aligned with the Libyan National Army LNA, led by General Khalifa Haftar. The Wagner Group, a Russian private military company, PMC, has been reported to be involved in various African countries, primarily in support of governments or factions aligned with Russian interests. Wagner Group mercenaries have also been deployed to the Central African Republic, where they have provided security and military assistance to the government of President Faustin Archange Tadera. Their involvement in CAR has been linked to protecting key government installations, training local. As of my last update in January 2022, I can't provide real-time information about specific events in April 2024. However, based on historical patterns, if Joseph Kony's Lord's Resistance Army, LRA, were still active in Central Africa in 2024, attacks on civilians, the LRA has a history of targeting civilian populations, including villages and towns, through raids, ambushes, and looting. These attacks often result in casualties, abductions, and displacement of civilians. The surrender of LRA fighters could potentially lead to a decrease in LRA activity in the region, as the surrender of fighters may weaken the group's operational capacity. The surrender of LRA fighters could contribute to improved security in affected areas, reducing the threat to civilian populations and facilitating efforts to stabilize the region efforts would be needed to facilitate the reintegration and rehabilitation of surrendered LRA fighters back into society. In many African cultures, rivers are often regarded as sources of life, sustenance, and spiritual significance. It's not uncommon for communities to rely on rivers for water, fishing, agriculture, and transportation. Similarly, vegetables and other natural resources play essential roles in local economies and livelihoods, providing food, medicine, and materials for daily life.